OK, let's create our application's navigation bar. We will go ahead and create a new component called navbar and load it inside app.jsx. Now typically, a navbar would contain a few links for us to navigate to different pages in our website. And traditionally, we would use an unordered list to create those links. And in normal HTML, if we have five items inside the navigation bar, we gotta copy and paste the li element for five times. Although this works, however, this is not the philosophy of React and programming in general. Copy and pasting is a big no-no in programming, especially we are just only changing the link name each time. So is there a better way to do this? Hell yeah. So in React, we gotta shift our mindset from DOM-driven to data-driven. So here, what we can do instead is to loop through an array of links and generate a list item each time. I'll show you what I mean. Let's create an array of nav items. Each item is represented by an object, which contains the title property and the href property. Now our objective here is to convert this array of object into an array of list items. So what we can do here is to call the map function on the nav items array, and for each nav item object, we will return a li with an a tag in it. Now do take note that we're using a one-liner arrow function here. That's why we don't need a return statement. We're returning the li block in one go by wrapping it with a round bracket. If you happen to need a multi-line operation here, just remember to use the curly braces and include a return statement inside the arrow function. Anyway, now we can see that the links are generated beautifully with a few lines of code. This is a lot more maintainable compared to traditional HTML because now if we want to add or modify the existing nav items, we simply need to modify the array rather than going through the HTML and refactor the code one by one. Isn't that neat? Now, if you think that putting in the map function inside the HTML is too messy, we can always extract it out into a separate function and call it inside the DOM. Let's do that just for demonstration. I'll create a function called render nav items and move the map logic into the function. And now inside the DOM, we can simply call the functions and it will still work as before. We can also store the result of the function into a variable and load it to the DOM and it will still behave the same way. And one last thing before we end the lesson, if we open the browser console now, we saw a warning saying that each child in a list should have a unique key prop. Although using the map function to generate elements is nice and convenient, however, there's one thing that we need to be aware of. Whenever we put an array of elements inside the DOM, React needs to be able to uniquely identify each of the elements inside the array. And to do that, we need to supply a key attribute to each of the element. In our case here, each nav item has a unique title, so the title property will be perfect to use as a key attribute. And now if we refresh the page, the warning will no longer appear. Great! So essentially, if the key is changed, then React will re-render the corresponding element in the array. In other words, React relies on a key to decide whether to re-render the element or not. All right, key takeaways for this lesson. We can load an array of elements into a React component and React will render them accordingly. The array function map is incredibly useful to help us generate a series of similar elements. We should set the key props to each element in the array. And React uses the key props to identify the elements and decide whether to re-render the DOM or not. That's it for this lesson and I'll see you again in the next video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for your support.